this shows you the animal diversity of the phylum Annelida. Looking at the top, the kingdom is Animalia. This is then simplified into seven different phylums, all seen here. In my video, I will concentrate on the Annelida phylum, and more specifically, the class of Oligocarta, which consists of earthworms. There are then two other classes in the Annelida phylum, the Polychaetes, which mostly are marine worms, and the Hirudina, which are leeches. The earthworm has a segmented body. Segments each contain different elements of body systems, such as circulatory, nervous, and excretory tracts. Segmentation increases the body movement and efficiency. This helps when they are burrowing underground. In an earthworm, there is a typical head with a mouth and basic sensory organs. So, therefore earthworms show a low degree of civilization. An earthworm is bilaterally symmetrical. This basically means that the left and right halves are mirror images of each other. If you were to cut the earthworm straight down the middle like I have here with this black line, the left side would look exactly like the right. This diagram shows a cross section of the layers within an earthworm. An earthworm is triploblastic, meaning they have three embryonic layers. They have the ectoderm, which is the outermost layer, the mesoderm, which is the middle layer, and then the endoderm, which lines the gut. The digestive and excretory system of an earthworm is very simple. Basically, food goes in one end and comes out the other, just like in humans. The digestive system is a complete tube through gut, with two openings in the gut, the mouth and the anus. The food goes in the mouth and comes out through the anus. An earthworm contains a coulomb. A coulomb is a fluid-filled cavity within the mesoderm. Having a coulomb gives the animal certain advantages, like providing space for enlargement and development of internal organs, and it may act as a circulation of materials or a storage area of excess or waste material. Earthworms have a closed circulatory system, which means the blood is contained within a completely closed system of vessels which form a closed loop usually with some sort of pumping organ, like a heart. Each segment or section has muscles and bristles called setae. The bristles help anchor and control the worm when moving through the soil. The earthworm has a streamlined body shape, and this helps them to live in narrow burrows and underground and helps them to move easily through the soil. Also, worms don't drink, but instead take water through their porous skin. Although you may not realize it, earthworms have quite a large role in, the, in our ecosystem and agriculture. They are hugely beneficial to our agriculture. They aerate and enrich the soil. They help water to flow. The tunnels they make break up the soil and provide a path for the water to flow and reach the roots easily. They eat nematodes, which are parasites that cause yellowing, wilting and bare patches on plants. They fertilize the soil. Earthworm waste called castings is much more nutrient rich than the soil the worm consume and they also help in decomposition.